March portion. This is day number two, July 22nd, 2018. Yesterday's objectives are complete. Last night was our first recording of the 40-minute masterpiece workshop. It turned out highly successful. First draft, the first run, the first tank. It was extremely successful. And we look forward to doubling that hopefully tonight. When we launch it, it should be maybe around. And according to our planner here, that should take place tonight. Ten songs, ranging from hip hop to country. It should be fun. I don't know where that's going to go, but I'm highly positive for it. That's okay. Extremely forward to it. So yeah, this is also the hyper holiday, so we don't have to worry about work per se. Every all all energy is focused on this project. Sunday, so I really, really, yeah. Still, the idea is to not get sleepy and need a nap. I want to work this full on to maximize the entire day as possible. So, according to our notes, we're going to be recording in the pantry. It's Harry Lee. We have lumber, the lumber bees, rock, hip hop, RB, and then our Braxton Cunningham mixtape. This is the patio brunch. We'll see you tomorrow.
Shout out to Flaming Oath. Yeah, turn it off, sir. Don't play it again. Welcome to the Masterpiece Reflections portion of the Hyper Holiday Special. I am Matt Johnson. That is myself on the screen. We're just going to do some commentating over the art session that took place on Sunday evening. Yes, we do have audio. Let's wait. Let's probably turn that down some. So if... if this particular segment wasn't viewed live via Periscope. The link will be provided in the description box below. So let's just give some fun facts. Number one, as you can see, I was inspired by Mr. Bob Ross on this adventure because it's just a, it was a, a very productive way to end a very hyper day. Just to come in, have a fresh canvas, ready to paint on. I wish I wonder if we could hear it. And as you see at the bottom of the screen, we ran well past 40 minutes. There we go. I, even, I think I played music. I'm not sure if that's... Yes, we did. Smooth background music. That's sponsored in part by Google Play, so, which I am a need. subscriber to. Place for your paints. This one is actual paint. Some brushes. We have a and you'll notice too, Royal by the way. Nickel, all media. Later on throughout the week, we transitioned from actual oil paint and canvas to dry erase boards and dry erase markers because the brushes just, I don't know how to take care of brushes, so I'll, it's all my fault. The brushes just, I used a lot of greens and reds throughout the week and it just completely ate the brushes up. I hope this is sounding okay. I'm, I'm not really sure. This is the first take. This is this is the first dry run. So if it's absolute crap, please, I apologize. Charge it to my head, not my heart. It's for well, the technology. I think I prepped this by sniffing the canvas at first. I was not sure how to what direction to take this but it's entertaining to watch watch yourself do this no rules absolute freedom that's right <laughs> the camera. 
canvas. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, this Hyper Holiday Week was tremendous. And doing this every night really set the tone and pace to wanting to do more, which is why we have now launched the Nightcap series to where every single night between the hours of 12 and maybe 12 and 1, 12 and 2, something is going to be done. It has to be. Let's just see where it goes. This guy, I wish Periscope could let you scan beyond this timer here. Because I'm we're not gonna make it this whole hour. But but like I said, the link will be in the bottom of the screen below. And for these for these paintings, by the way, there were sketches pre-made to what was in my mind like just to be honest there were a variety of ideas that I wanted to put on the on the actual canvas but I was given the moment and the time span that, that we were in it was it was more about what are we feeling at the moment to really display on the canvas and and with oil well, for for the oil, it was more permanent because once we once we started diving into the paints like we like we're doing now, and applying it to the canvas, it was like all right, we gotta rock and roll this. It was like getting into a song and then trying not to stop. As soon as you start at the intro, to be like no 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 no, do something else no 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 because with the dry erase board, it was pretty easy to start and then if all right, we want to change up a direction, we can just do it as as we wish. It was dry erase. Oil is more, to me personally, oil is more, there's a, a, a sensation. There's, a, it's more of a, what's the word I'm looking for? When I'm, when I'm painting with oil, let's say, it's, it's stronger than like a, a bond or a, a common, united force like you the, the way it's like just from the way it smells to the way it feels to the way it approaches a can the canvas when you're painting with it it's, it's it's romantic almost to me and and that's why and that's why it's important to just experiment with things so now that we know that dry erase is more of is more flexible we can you can really, really, really be playful with a with a dry erase board because I haven't mastered the craft of blending colors on a dry erase board yet. But with oil, oil is it's romantic. It's it's historic. It it really can it can really make you. What's the word I'm looking? There is is a word I I can't put my finger on it. But oil is just. It's a passion, it's a romantic aesthetic to me. And that's why oil will always be around. I mean, I mean, we paint from oil to dry erase boards to painting on tablets. I mean, oil will always, in my opinion, be number one on the list. It will always be number one. And for this one, I mean, I share, I believe I talked through the entire one hour and two minutes on this particular, this particular painting. I'm not sure entirely. Ah, this was the paint. This was inner city quad. That's what this was. And this was more of a, a, a tribute to how I am as a person because... I think and focus a lot of attention on stuff like being productive and wanting to do more with the time 
that I have and wanting to be of service and also high value, but also around all the buildings and everything that surrounds this park that you will see in the, uh, it's, there's still that childlike, that's still that, I still have that inner freedom that's just, as you can see, I mean, it's, it's just free. It wants to, it wants to do, it wants to do good things without, it wants to, I can't put it into words. It wants to be enjoyed. It wants, no. I can't put my finger on it. But this is the painting, The Inner City Quad. This has been a masterpiece, the masterpiece reflection. I believe that's what we called it. I can edit this, I'm not worried. Pretty sure it's masterpiece reflection. Yes, Masterpiece Reflections. This this has been the Masterpiece Reflection. The piece in question is entitled The Inter Inner City Quad. I am Matt Johnson, Q-U-V-W-X-Y, and I thank you for watching. And again, for the full viewing of the painting that has that is before us, the link is below. I wish you all a very, very positive day.